talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not in the tank. Hey, coach, put me in the game. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, wondrous SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. Noah Igbenogany from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Take a second look at this just to make sure. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the middle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursue, ramp up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to put it away on fourth down. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. the man in motion right. Play action. It's Herbert. And this is first catch for Keenan Allen. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards on the play. 
A big hitter to start the drive. Has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's got some space here. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It's another first down. I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. The Chargers in 11 and 1 now on the year. And I tell you, it has been a few months now since they've tasted defeat, and they are without question the hottest team in football. And I'm really not sure who's going to beat them right now because, to me, they have to be the favorites to go all the way because they're not just beating teams, they're dominating them. It's been fun to watch them play, not just in their winning, but how they're getting it done. On second and 11 now, Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A gain there of 21 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. No wasted time from Channing Tindall on that play. He got back there in a hurry and met him to stop him for a loss. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Herbert now. On the screen, this is Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! Austin Eckler, touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Benogany elects not to return and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. Ready. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah. Oh, that's in the double coverage. He'll intercept it. And the Chargers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the ball all the way. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense. That's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is, I think he caught it. 
He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. I think he just made the punter a little bit jealous there. There was some serious hang time on that ball. Deep downfield, and while it didn't connect, it certainly sent a message, didn't it? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Boy, they've definitely come out of the gate smoking here in the first quarter. Whatever they've tried to run has worked. And there's another example right there. Game plan is one thing, but how about his act? And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his 17th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chargers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Hopkins with the extra point. Now 14-0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Two are going to throw. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Going to the air, Tugamailoa. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Got a man here. It's Wilson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there. The way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Two and now on first down. He's able to find Melton. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play. They'll decline the penalty to not give them the down back. And were you thinking to yourself that maybe they would take the yardage there? Yeah, because possibly. I was. I definitely was. But as you noted, maybe they're just looking at the downs chart and saying, okay, we're comfortable where we are. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. On play action, here's Tua. They shakes him off, and that is incomplete. Well, when you got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure he wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free, and off he goes. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, 
Those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. down two scores they're going to go for this rather than settle for three emotion hill tongue of iloa going for it on fourth down and that is incomplete but a penalty flag coming in this could be a first down so they get the flag for pass interference big call there on fourth down but it's the right call and as much as i want to see them play through incidental contact he's definitely there too early so first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. From the gun, it's Tua. Forced out to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Ready. From the 21, it's second and 10. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guess it because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. The Charger drive about to get going. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. He's going to float this one deep right side. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Take it at the 37. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. 
But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second down, Mostert. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. Sneak, and he is going to have the Dolphins first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, it shows confidence in your offensive line. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Flush to his right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Getting this out to the flat, Moster. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. Tua on fourth down. Buying time to his left. And this one is incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. Well, down two touchdowns already. I guess they felt they needed to go for it, but still early, still first half. I think conventional wisdom says, look, you, as you point out, you got a whole half to play. Hang in there. Don't give up any more points in this situation. Do a little adjusting at the half and come out ready to go. But sometimes those coaches can just sense their team maybe they're a little flat or they need a little extra inspiration. And he decided to go for it there to try and kickstart things. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he's going to have a first down, and they get in the field goal range here at the 29. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Oh, 
Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football. Because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. After the turnover, it's Tua. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. The kick by Sanders is good. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced. Either. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Keon Crossing. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. They'll run right side with Mostert. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 32. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Play action. Now it's Tua. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki, 32 yards. And the Dolphins take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. The two are going to try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two is successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal for a position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal.
Charger touchdown. A great play there. 84 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. Gonna look deep for Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to pass to him. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. I just go after him because otherwise your sons are playing back on your heels and that's not going to help you. Deep. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with a touchdown number 20 on the year. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Hopkins with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, 
It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. To his throw, pulled in by Melton. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. It's Brennan. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least. That went out of bounds. You're exactly right, and as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. Two and now on first down. They're going deep for Hill. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Now to it. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. He's got room at the 30. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Bo Melton with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Dolphins are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Charger drive about to get going. This now a 10-point game. So things tightening a little bit after that last score. They started on the ground with Eckler. the 40 before he's out of bounds. 82 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. The slot man in motion right. Now on second and 13, Herbert. He's got him in, complete. Touchdown. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns. 
touchdowns here so far. And the Chargers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that'll make this a three score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. Let's see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. On second and ten, Tua, and the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Joey Bosa in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. They'll set up a throw. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he'll be corralled well up field right around the 40-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. He'll buy some time right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Tua. Gonna look deep for Wilson. And this is gonna be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are gonna take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Now on 
Watson, second and 13. Herbert. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked up by Channing Tindall. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Alec Ingold, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, you kept them at the end zone there. This game's over. You locked the door on them. Instead, they still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And nothing but green glass here. No Chargers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Chris taking it at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. They're going deep for Hill. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Abel Thomas. And the Chargers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 104 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. A give, Eckler running to the right. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On 
second and nine. Herbert. It's caught by his running back, Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! Austin Eckler from 21 yards away. And the Chargers stretch this fourth quarter lead even further, and they are closing in on win number 12 of the season. Extra point good by Hopkins. And they open the lead up now to 25. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Igbenogany elects not to return. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Two and a throw again. That throw complete to his tight end long. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be fourth down. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they wind up in a gain of 11 there on fourth down. On play action, here's Tua. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And got his man complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. 
Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss. He's got a man complete. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up. And he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us 